I'm very excited to show you a new program for setting up your Wii games for USB Loader GX or Wii Float on your modded Wii. And not only that, it lets you set up your GameCube games for Nintendo as well. And don't worry, this can be used on Windows, Mac, or Linux. Not only that, you can also use any file type such as WBFS, ISO, or RVZ. And if you're wondering where to find these, well, I can't show you here, but check the pinned comment. The program is called Tiny Wii Backup Manager, created by MQ1, and he made it so much simpler to get everything set up. It even has brand new features allowing us to download homebrew apps directly to your SD or USB, saving time and stress. Of course, this is for anyone who has homebrewed their Wii, set up USB Loader GX, or Wii Flow for that matter, and is looking to get their games ready to play. So if you haven't done those first steps yet, I'll have videos on how to do so linked in the description if you want to get started there. Tiny Wii Backup Manager replaces Wii Backup Manager, which I personally Personally used for many years, but it could be confusing for some to use and only for Windows OS. So this new program gets rid of any unnecessary features and simply lets you get your SD or USB drive set up to play your Wii games. The UI user interface is extremely simple to learn, so let's get right into it by heading to the official GitHub linked in the description. And here you can find all the information about it. And I will say if you're on Mac, there is instructions on the installation here. The app is not notarized. You must allow it manually after installing by running this command in terminal and you can copy it right here. I don't have a Mac so I can't show you but I thought I'd put that out there if any of you are on Mac using this program. But what we want is the releases page right here. So click on the latest release but to get the download scroll down and there are a ton of different options. As I mentioned, this works on Windows, Mac, and Linux, even Windows 7. It has a ton of support, which is fantastic, but I'm gonna be looking for the Windows download. And not only that, there's also a Windows portable or a Windows app. So the difference is the portable isn't installed to your computer. So if you want the simplest program, just grab the portable. And if when you download it, it thinks it's a virus, you'll just have to go and allow it in your Windows security. I'm not sure how to do this on Mac or Linux, but here's how you do it on Windows. You go to virus and threat protection, protection history, threat blocked, and then you can double check if that is the file. So this is the Windows X64 portable. There'll be an option here to allow, just press that and then download it again, and you'll get it downloaded. So once you have it downloaded, open up your file explorer, Make sure you have your USB drive or your SD card plugged in. I have my sub to FS47 one here. It is currently blank, so this is a brand new setup. If I go to properties, you do need to make sure it is FAT32 formatted. If you don't know how to do that, I have other videos. This is gonna be more of a quick guide. But go into your downloads and you should see TinyWee Backup Manager, the portable zip file. Open that up and it's gonna have this TinyWee Backup Manager exe file and just drag that anywhere you want. I'll just place it in my downloads. You can delete the zip file once you have the exe file and then go ahead and double click to open it up. It may think that it's saving you, but don't worry, it's a false positive. Just click more info, run anyway, it's safe. And here we go, that is Tiny Wee Backup Manager. If you decided to get the Windows app version, just go through the setup and it will get it installed to your PC. It'll even have a custom shortcut that you can put on your desktop. And now it's time to choose a drive. So go into the three bars here choose a drive or directory and then you should see under devices or removable devices you should see your drive right there press open and if you had games on it it will automatically add it into the program but mine was empty as you saw before so it's not adding anything so now it's time to add our actual games to do that press the plus icon and select your games. If you have multiple, I'll show you quick in my download. I have Rhythm Heaven Fever as an ISO file, Mario Sports Mix as an RVZ file, and Super Mario Galaxy 2 Deluxe as a WBFS file. Yeah, 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 it's not a real game. It's actually a custom WBFS file. If you are curious where I got it, check the pinned comment. And just for fun, I have a GameCube game here as a RVZ file as well. You can also use this program to set up those. So I'll minimize that and back to selecting your games just click on it and if you want to select multiple hold control and click the rest once you have all of them selected press open and it will add them all into the program the more games you have the longer it may take so i'll meet you when it's done and then once they're fully added it should automatically download the covers if you go into your usb drive you'll see you'll have an apps games and wbfs folder all set up WBFS has your Wii games set up with the game name with the title ID in square brackets. 
along with the WBS file inside named as the title ID. You can actually set this up manually, but this is so much easier. And going back in your games folder, you'll have your GameCube game set up just like this as well, named Game ISO. In your apps folder, it won't have the actual USB Loader GX app, and if you already had it set up before, you'll still have it, but you'll also have covers that it automatically downloaded, as you can see here. If you don't know how to automatically add them, all you do is go to your USB Loader GX settings and go to custom paths. But normally you can download covers directly on USB Loader GX. But that's not the only thing this program can do. If you go to this icon right here, click on the reload button, it will download all of the available apps on the Open Shop channel. And for reference, that's kind of like the official way to download apps for your homebrewed Wii. So it's almost done loading them all and now you have access to that entire library. It's a lot to kind of sift through so you can just look it up. You can look up USB Loader GX and there it is. All you do is hit this icon here to download and install the app to your USB drive or SD card. But there you go, that's how you set up your Wii and GameCube games for USB Loader GX, Wii Flow and Nintendo. If you're interested in more modding guides, make sure you hit that subscribe and keep an eye out for future tutorials or check out my other ones. I appreciate the support and I hope this video helped you. Stay funky and happy modding. <laughs>